Hello everyone, Daniel and Bella from Second Chance Love. Just coming on here a few minutes before we get all started on the fun for today's video, we wanted to go ahead and wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Now my hubby is not here at the time of this filming, but he will be here in time for Thanksgiving and I'm sure he would have been in this part of the filming if he was here and he all wishes you as well a happy Thanksgiving. So we wanted to go ahead and send you all blessings, love and just thank you for so much of the support and love you have shown for my channel and supporting my videos by liking commenting watching i truly appreciate it so much and i am so thankful and blessed to have you guys all be a part of my second chance love family and of course for all of my friends as well that i have gotten to know here on youtube i appreciate it so much and it means so much 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 to me and bella and joe say hi bella say hi to everyone hello hi so we just wanted to wish you guys a happy thanksgiving for those of you who do not celebrate thanksgiving i still hope that you are going to be surrounded by loved ones family members fur babies and just have a wonderful weekend and that you guys may have lots of blessings have delicious food and be safe please be safe if you will be doing any black friday shopping or any shopping at all during this long holiday weekend I do hope that you have a great time, but definitely be safe, be cautious, and make sure to always tell your loved ones that you love them because it's such a special holiday that, you know, you're surrounded by family and that's the most important part. So again, from the Hernandez family, happy Thanksgiving, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend. Say bye, Bella. Say bye, bye. Bye, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Daniel here from Second Chance Love and I am back with my weekend vlog haul. Now you guys, this is going to be probably a very, very rather large haul because it encompasses a lot of stores. It's not just thrifting. Um, that weekend was full of lots of shopping, you know, from Dollar Tree to Target to Goodwill to, you know, just to name a few stores, Walmart. So you guys are going to see a lot of different uh, items in this video. It's going to be a big mashup. So let's go ahead and get started with all the fun because it's going to be probably a lengthy one. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Daniel from Second Chance Love. And if you guys like Ray Dunn, if you guys like thrifting, if you guys like estate sales, if you love Halloween, Christmas, vintage, and decorating, that this is a channel for you, I welcome you guys to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you are hitting the notification bell so you're notified of every time I release a video. And for my returning subscribers, Thank you so much as always. So much love and blessing to you guys. I hope that you guys are going to be having a wonderful Thanksgiving surrounded by friends, family, or whoever you are going to spend with this weekend. And if you guys like this video, it really helps if you hit the like button because that notifies YouTube that you guys are liking my content and then it will be pushed on to other people so that they can discover me. So let's go ahead without further ado, jump in into the haul because again, it is quite lengthy. You guys can see there's already like a pile right here. It's literally surrounding me. I am surrounded by everything. So I'm very, very excited because again, thrifting is such a passion for me and with the items that I find, I hope create inspiration for you guys to go out and thrift because I found so many amazing items and such amazing deals with the prices, you guys. And I just cannot wait for you guys to see. So let's get started because I am so excited for you guys to see what I found during my weekend vlog. So with not going in any specific order, I'm just going to go ahead and grab stuff that is on my side. I will be adding some additional clips on to today's video if I'm styling something to give you guys an idea of how I'm going to be using a specific item or, you know, whatever I found while thrifting or, at, you know, at any store. Um, I'll give you guys an idea, maybe some of the items, not everything, but just here and there you might see some add-ons. And also you guys will be seeing the theme of my Christmas tree. I did reveal in a previous video that I am looking for neutral decor and I hope 
you know, with the items that I found, I think I can pull it off for it to be like a neutral Christmas tree, which I'm very excited to get started. So the first item that I have is this pillow, you guys. So I actually have two of these. So I'm only showing one, but these are brand new. These were from Goodwill. They were $9.99 each at Goodwill. And I absolutely love the detail. It looks almost like it's like, you know, like quilted fabric almost. And then it has a bunch of tassel on the side. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's very neutral. Again, the style of the pillow is neutral as well. You guys, these are brand new. They're not used pillows. I would never buy a used pillow, FYI. Uh, so these are brand new and they are originally from Target. They are from the, let's see if I can check what collection. They, yes, they're from the Studio McGee designed uh, by Threshold. So Threshold designed with Studio McGee pillow. These were originally $22 at Target. I'm trying to see if this thing kind of, it's kind of small you guys, but there you can see Studio McGee. It was originally $22 each for these pillows and I got them for $10 each. So again, brand new and they're absolutely perfect. I cannot wait to display them on my couch. Next, I have another Goodwill find and I am absolutely blown away with this find, you guys. I could not believe it. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to take it and it's absolutely perfect and I love the color. Blue is my favorite color and it is a Ray Dunn item. So this is a brand new pillow. These are these long like lounge sofa pillows. It says Simply Blessed. This color is absolutely beautiful and it goes so well with the first pillow that I shared with you guys right now. So this is Ray Dunn Simply Blessed. It's really long as you guys can see. It's absolutely gorgeous. But what's even more gorgeous is the price, okay? It's still brand new, you guys. Again, I wouldn't buy a used pillow. It's originally from TJ Maxx. And Oh, it's always so blurry when it's trying to focus on certain things, you guys. Sorry. So it was $19.99 originally from TJ Maxx. Again, it still has all the tags. Look at the amazing price at Goodwill. $4.99 for this large pillow from Ray Dunn. I was so ecstatic. I was so in love and so blown away. And I'm like, this has to go into the cart. I absolutely am so in love with this pillow. Keeping on with Goodwill, I found this plain wood um, stack, wood frame, I guess you could say. Uh, I don't know if this was once a sign. It doesn't have anything in the back indicating that it was like something that was hung and it doesn't have any hangers. Um, but I absolutely fell in love with this because again, it's going with that neutral decor. So I'm going to be using this as my centerpiece for Christmas on my dining room table. I'm going to be using some thrifted items as well with this. And I, as soon as I saw it, I knew that this would be a perfect centerpiece for my dining table for Christmas. So you guys will have to wait and see and how I style and decorate with thrift finds with this piece. And I got this for $2.99, I believe. It didn't have a price tag, but they priced it at the cash register. So again, I cannot wait to, you know, use this. It's gonna be so awesome. I'm really, really excited, you guys. I'm very excited about Christmas because I'm, all my juices, my creative juices are flowing and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Next up is this rather heavy item. This is from Creative Co-op and at Goodwill, you guys, if you ever are shopping at Goodwill's here in Orange County or even in any of your thrift stores, you will find things probably still in boxes that are closed up like this. So this is still possibly brand new. I don't think this was ever used. I think this was ordered and they just never used it. This was $12.99 at Goodwill. And it still has all the tags. The back of the box says Creative Co-op. Now this, I will go ahead and try to add a clip of how it looks like from out of the box because this might be a little bit difficult to show on camera. But basically they are wooden blocks they're still all wrapped up in their in their bubble wrap so it makes me really believe that they're still brand new 
but it spells out Merry Christmas. So I'm just gonna take out one of the blocks for you guys to see the style of the lettering and the block and the color. So it's a red block with white letters and it spells out Merry Christmas. So again, I'll go ahead and add a clip of how it looks like all laid out out of the box. And I just so excited because I thought it was such a cool find. And again, going for that neutral kind of look, I feel that this will add a little bit of color to my neutral because I don't want it to just be all, you know, gold, metals, blacks, and stuff like that. So I think this will add a good touch of color. Next up, we have another Goodwill find. I did pick this up. This is the Ray Dunn. So this is like a cookie canister, I think. It's Ray Dunn Artisan Collection by Magenta. This was originally $5.99 at Goodwill. It says love on the cookie jar. I'm just gonna say it's a cookie jar. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a canister because it does have a lid on it with a suction. I'm not gonna open it because um, it's all taped up, but I did pick this up and it's like a birdhouse because it has the hanger on top. So I did pick this up for $5.99 only. I feel like this is such a cool find. So let's go ahead and see what else I can share with you guys because there's still a lot of goodies. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and move a little tad faster because I realized that I have a whole tub of items to share with you guys. So I also picked up, so at Dollar General, I did get inspired by that window pane that you guys saw in the weekend vlog. And I thought, you know what, I can definitely do this and make it a lot bigger. So I did find, you know, curious enough, I found a window pane that I could use to recreate that entire look with a wreath. So I did find this window glass pane. It's absolutely so wonderful, you guys. And the best part is this is a world market item. It still has the original tag. This was originally $59.99 for this window pane. And it was only $5.99 at Goodwill. And on the back, I think these were meant for photos because these pop out. So it is missing some of the glass is missing two but there's still the other ones left and you know what this is perfect i'm going to create this into a window pane and put a christmas wreath and i'm going to recreate this and for a smaller price because this was 5.99 and i think the dollar general one was like 12 12 or 15 bucks i don't remember but this is going to be perfect so i was so so excited to have found this piece now let me go ahead and share with you guys the other items as well because I have again a whole tub of things right here. So this was in the shopping session video. I did pick up this really cute wooden Santa. Again, I know this probably doesn't scream neutral, but I just fell in love with it because this is a handmade piece. This was designed by Rosa. There is um an engraving on the back someone wrote on it that whoever did this so this was by rosa brack and it says that it was in 1984 in anaheim i live in anaheim so i'm like you know what i have to so there's the information of the artist this was five dollars and 99 cents at goodwill and i just thought it was absolutely so cute they did such an amazing job i might go ahead and to conserve the paint i might add a light coating of mod podge just so i can come you know um conserve the paint job because i want to have this last for years it's such a unique piece and it was handmade so it's just so cute and i just have to bring it home and you guys have seen this before i'm still buying a lot of pine cones because again i am going to be doing something now with that wooden piece that's going to be my centerpiece so i figured you know what it doesn't hurt to have an extra bag just in case that was only a dollar 49 originally from target which was three dollars so we have the mini pine cones I instantly fell in love with this amber jar. I think this is considered amber, a amber, amber, amber. <laughs> I absolutely love this. I love this because it goes again with that neutral feel. This was a Goodwill find for $4.99. 
It did come with these dried palm leaves, um, but I don't think I'm going to be keeping these. They don't really go with my style. I might go ahead and donate them back and just keep the jar. But I knew that I fell in love with this because this could also go for Christmas with some picks, like Christmas picks or something like that. And let's see, Target. I keep buying a bunch of these, but because I am doing something now for my dining table, I knew that I wanted to get more of these to incorporate into them. So these were $3 each. I picked up a total of four. You can never have enough picks, I feel. And I really love how they look very realistic with the berries and the pine cones. So we have those. And I also picked up from the 99 store you know i originally went there to see if i could find some ornaments but unfortunately i didn't really find much of what i could use but i did pick up the um pine needle branches these were a dollar 99 each they look very realistic with the frosted tips all throughout and they have little pine cones as well so i picked up a total of three so i can incorporate them into my home decor now moving on to a little bit of target I instantly fell in love with this star, you guys. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. This was from Target. This was $10. I just love the glitter. And again, I'm telling you guys, it's perfect for my neutral decor. I had these bunched together because I knew that I was going to buy these. But when I bought the star, when I got the star, when I saw it, I was like, how beautiful would this look sitting somewhere and having some greenery picks on the sides of it? I think it would look so neutral and beautiful. So I'm like, I have to take this star. It's absolutely gorgeous. They have it also in another style, but this definitely resembles more of the Bethlehem star. And I love the gold and like rose gold color finish. So that made its way home to me. And from Goodwill, you guys know that I love picking these up. This was $1.99. I added some fresh batteries to share you guys how it looks. You guys have seen me use these a lot in my decorating videos. Every time I see them, they're just a no-brainer for me because they're more expensive if I were to buy them, you know, brand new. This is another ornament from the 99. This is the only ornament that I bought actually. This is the only thing that I feel kind of fit in with what I'm trying to aim for for this year. This was origin, no, this was $3.99. I love the gold ring and then like the rose gold colored bow and then the greenery, the pine and the eucalyptus leaves. And they have some brush strokes of gold. So I thought these were absolutely cute. I just have to get that. And let's see, I did find a Radon mug, Sarah, and I'm going to be listing this in my shops. I am in Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, and Poshmark, and this was only $1.99, and it's still, it's like basically brand new. It feels like it hasn't even been used rarely, but it's a Radon Sarah mug. Absolutely love this, so I'm going to be listing that to be sold on my shops. And I also picked up these ornaments, you guys. Now, I'm not going to take them out of the bag. They need to be cleaned. I don't know what they're soaked in or covered in. It might be lotion. It might be something disgusting. It's, it's yellow. I have no idea what it is. But when I saw them, I knew that these were absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if these might be maybe from Threshold originally or maybe from Hearth and Hand. It's definitely giving me that style. These were $2.99 and it is a garland of these stars, but I'm going to actually be individually ripping them up and turning them all into individual ornaments for my Christmas tree. So I definitely am going to be saving myself some money by making these into individual ornaments and they are perfect for the style that I'm going for. Now talking about my tree, I did find these at Walmart, you guys. These are the styles that I'm going to be using. These are the ornament balls. These were uh, nine shatterproof ornaments, $10.98 at Walmart. So this is the style and decor that I'm going for, for again, kind of like a neutral. So it's gonna be a lot of gold, whites, and um, metallics. So I'm very excited. I also picked up this other one from Walmart. This was $5.98. Again, there's a lot of different textures, colors, and these actually are so perfect with the other ones that I just shared with you guys. So I cannot wait to decorate my tree with these. 
and with all my thrift finds because again i really try to aim i know that i did buy some new stuff but i really try to aim for everything to be thrifted if i can i also got these from walmart 12 feet garland bead garland for six dollars and 98 cents from the holiday time um section and again it's 12 feet they're beads it's again with the neutrals whites then they have the natural colored beads and the grays so again these all go very very well with kind of like the color scheme that i'm trying to go for again very very neutral with like golds and metals and stuff like that you guys walmart is the place to go if you are looking for beads garland beads definitely check walmart because they have a great selection and i picked up this random bag they're just like little christmas berries they were $1.99, which I didn't feel were too bad for the price. So these are just some frosted, like either berries. I don't think they're cranberries, but frosted berries. I know that I can definitely use these as filler or for decor throughout specific areas. And I also picked up this candle. So this is a number 19 apothecary series, acai and blackberry, $2.99 at Goodwill, you guys. I think these candles, I did search it up, run for like maybe $20 to $30. And this is actually brand new. It has never been used at all. And it, it smells divine. It smells so amazing. So this is from Belle View Luxury Candles. And it's made in the US. Um, but again, I always, always, always buy candles if I can from Goodwill. Because you find some that are still completely brand new. I run into a lot of Bath & Body Work candles, believe it or not, which I do have some in my next haul. I don't have them in this haul, but I do have some in my next haul that you guys will see. Okay, you guys, so we're coming down to the last few items of the haul. I did stop by at Dollar Tree to pick up a few of these ornament ball packs. These are $1.25 each for 12 piece. I got gold, red, and green. I'm just showing you guys these two colors. Now, the reason why I bought these, which I actually overbought because I did already try it out and um, one pack each color would have been sufficient. I bought like two greens, two reds, and one gold. Um, but I ended up picking up the glass, ornate, well, the glass uh, jars from Target's dollar spot section. So this is a display container. It does have a move, removable lid and this is all glass. So it does resemble a Christmas light ball. No, not a ball, a light, a Christmas light bulb. And I just think this is so adorable. I'm gonna go ahead and add the clip on here of what I'm going to be doing with these, you guys. I bought a total of three of these. And originally I thought, you know what? I don't think, I don't know why I didn't connect you know connect the dots connect the math whatever that one of the ornament 12 piece sets from dollar tree was going to be enough for one glass jar because i ended up having still like maybe like four or five extras of each color because not all of them fit into the glass jar but this is what i'm going to be doing you guys are seeing the video right now that's what i'm going to be doing with these which i think they look absolutely really beautiful i know that you can definitely do a lot of other things as well maybe add lights or you know smaller filler but i think this looks absolutely stunning with the ornament balls inside now my next item is another raid done item i found this little piggy bank well piggy bank it's a bank technically it's not a piggy bank it's a bank <laughs> it's meant for money so you have your coin slot right there or to add you know your bills as well it looks like someone used it for like they put stickers on here but that's easily removable it still has remnants of the original tag from home goods it says dream big and this was only three dollars and 99 cents you guys at goodwill and it still looks very very brand new as soon as i saw this it reminded me of the house up from disney pixar's movie up and it just dreamed big because you know they were trying to go to um to the falls oh my gosh i can't even remember the name of the falls uh, but you, you guys know if you've seen the movie it's such a heartfelt movie it's so adorable but it reminded me of that as well and then from Dollar Tree, I found these little signs and it has like also some galvanized lettering. This one says Faith. Yes, Faith. I absolutely thought these were really cute. 
And then I also picked one that says Hope in green. So I thought these were cute to add somewhere. Not entirely too sure where I might add them, but I, you know, I figured I'm pretty sure I could find a place for them. I also picked up this wooden little tray. It says Christmas Joy. This was $2.99. I absolutely fell in love with these candles. Again, it looks very, very almost neutral farmhouse, which I'm absolutely aiming for for this year. And I just fell in love with the handles. The handles have like a lot of detail engraved into the metal. So that's what really won me over with this little piece. So I knew that I had to bring that home. And I also found this other print. This is from Hallmark's Keepsake Ornament Club. Um, so it's like a sketch. I think the if you, you were part of the ornament club, you would get this. It says it's a member exclusive. This was only, I think, $1.99 or $0.99. Cents. I don't remember. It didn't have a price tag, so they priced it at the register. But it says on the top, magic ornament with light, sound, and motion. Santa plane with train set. So I think this is supposed to be almost like the imprints or kind of like the blueprints, I mean, the blueprints of ornaments that this artist was sketching. So I think this is supposed to be an ornament that would eventually be made into one. And this is just the design of it because it's kind of telling you what it's going to be. And then it says at the bottom, um, kind of like the title, it has the artist's signature right here i just fell in love with the print i thought it would look really cute framed or you know just left like this but i knew that i wanted to bring this home because again it's bringing me that neutral it's all black and white so i had to and last but not least you guys for my tree again i fell in love with the star as soon as i saw it i knew this was the star that i wanted for my christmas tree because it's going to really stand out because my walls are white and again going with the neutral look this is going to pop at the top of my tree so i picked up this really beautiful christmas tree topper star it does light up this was from the wonder shop and it was 20 dollars. it's absolutely beautiful you guys i just love the black outlining of the star and then the almost glass like look of the star and that's where the shines uh, the lights shine through is that you know the metallic part that you guys are seeing right now this is how it kind of looks when it's lit up it's led with 20 lights and it does have an easy clip on so it makes it a lot more easier for you to clip it onto the top of your tree so i knew this was the star they have some really beautiful stars at target if you guys are looking for a new christmas tree topper i definitely recommend that you guys check target out to see what you can find and hopefully you fall in love with them just like i did with this one so that is the end of today's video, you guys. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. It was rather, rather large. A lot of these items, again, are for my Christmas tree, but a lot of the stuff is also home decor that I will be using and also like stuff that I'm going to be incorporating into my tree and also for my dining room table centerpiece, which I think I might have like a dinner setting, place setting uh, video as well to give you guys some inspiration. I have some ideas of how I want my Christmas dining set up to be um so i'm very excited for that uh but let me know in the comments below you guys what was your favorite find from this entire haul this is very hard for me to choose a favorite so i'm not going to because there's just too many awesome finds um from the thrift store from target from you know just everywhere i couldn't believe it i had a really good haul find for this weekend's vlog that i shared with you guys but i still actually have one more weekend vlog this is actually like two weeks of items um that i found these items like two weeks ago i still have one from last week before leading into thanksgiving that i did a weekend vlog as well for thrifting and i also uh, celebrated my mom's birthday so you guys will see that as well hopefully i'm able to get that out this week before um the weekend hits because this is a thanksgiving weekend so it's gonna be kind of hard but i'll try my best uh, but yeah, let me know what was your favorite item from this entire haul, you guys. I absolutely love hearing what you guys have to say and I enjoy our chit chats. So make sure to drop down those comments below. So until next time, you guys, this is Daniel from Second Chance Love wishing you guys again a happy Thanksgiving, that you have a wonderful time and please be safe and just enjoy your time overall. Until the next one. Bye, everyone.